Hey man, we 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 feeling real Memphis in this motherfucker today, Word. man. Facts. We got the one, the only Sean Williams in the oh, motherfucking man. building, man. Appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. Appreciate it. With them frames on. <laughs> I'd have been in the A too long. Yeah, man. pop your shit, man. <laughs> I'd have been in the A. And I played for Detroit. You know, they had them buffs on. Oh, they on had them buffs on yeah. up there. They yeah. had them different type, huh? Yeah, with the uh, like the marble type size. Yeah. They do they do up there like they do with the Jordans down there. They'll kill you for them buffs up there. For real? So as soon as you get that, you got to get some buffs. You got to be careful. You got to be careful with them. Oh, OK. Yeah, they ride. So they ain't them. got it. <laughs> be holding they shit like this round now. What that was, that was probably one of your favorite cities to play in? No, no, my, no, no, no. I had a ball in Indianapolis. Indianapolis? Played, I had a ball, dog. That's got what drafted by them. Yeah, I got drafted by Larry Bird, hand picked by Larry Bird. Uh, um, but my my Hold on, man. Let nigga, you can't just speed <laughs> fast that. That nigga said he was hand, They say Larry Bird one of the best forwards they ever played. Right, facts. And, and he, he handpicked you. And he a gangster. He a gangster, man. Yeah, he handpicked. He told me I had 21 workouts. I worked uh -huh. out with them probably on the 12th one. He pulled me to the side after the workout. He said, how many more workouts you got? I was like, about nine. He said, you ain't got to go to now another week. I'm going to pick you. I can tell you my age. He was like, nah, you got to finish him up. You got to finish all the workout. But he told me he was going to pick me at the 17th pick. And yeah. you, and you, like, was it just, you thought it was just like the industry talk type shit or you? Hey, like... I knew he was serious because he ain't no play play type dude. Right. Dog. Well, he, yeah. a real... he barely talked though. No, he he talk. That's he, he talk when he like you. You know oh, what I'm okay. saying? But <laughs> he he like a man, no bullshit dude. And I can just I got the vibe from. Him. I was like, he see. I'm telling my agent, he's serious, dog. I, I can see. He was like, nah, you can't listen to that. You got to finish it on out. Go on to your nine more workouts. Uh -huh. Cause something can happen on draft now. I was like, man, I don't want to. I play for Larry. He said he gonna pick me, but I ended up finishing it. I canceled one of the workouts with Boston. What was your workout like? That with with Indiana. With, was you man, home? He, was you? I ain't gonna lie, it's like he had us competing. Mm -hmm. It was the weirdest type drills. I was in there with James White and a couple more dudes, Blind. but uh -huh. he was just rolling, the, they was rolling the ball out. We had to run around the cones and first to get the ball. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm a dog, I'm like, man, I'm gonna kill that. Oh dude. yeah, yeah, you know yeah, they're right up your ass. Right up my ass, he wanted to see who was gonna quit and who was a dog, Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You got any funny Larry Bird story? <laughs> that nigga, we probably wouldn't even never thought. Man, yeah, I got a lot of funny Larry Bird stories. I got a lot of, Stories about Larry Bird just being a real dude, dog. Uh -huh. um, when I first got to Indianapolis, it was at the like the brawl, the Malice in the Palace. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. When they Jackson won in Detroit, yeah. yeah. So Steve Jackson, Jermaine O'Neal, they was all my vets. So I used to come in. You know, you got to get that, that the millionaire manners when you come to the league. Coming from South Memphis, I was still uh -huh. using Jersey's lotion and shit. <laughs> 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 no, man, that's a real day. Yeah. I was using baby uh, Johnson Johnson baby lotion. Yeah. Iron so, spring soap. Yeah, all that shit, right? <laughs> so when I get there, you know, after about an hour, your hands and shit gonna get back rusty. So yeah. I'm walking into my kneecaps rusty, hands rusty and shit. <laughs> so they like, they just gave me a nickname. We're gonna call you ghetto, dog. We're gonna call you ghetto. <laughs> yeah. So the nickname had kind of took on to me for a minute. Uh -huh. So Rick Carlisle, one day we in practice, dog. Rick Carlisle called me that shit. He was like, hey, ghetto. What? He was like, hey, ghetto. That's crazy. Come do this or something. <laughs> Man, Larry Dog. I looked over there at Larry because he used to sit in all the practice. His face was red as a motherfucker. So after the practice, he called me and Rick up in the office. You know what I'm saying? He was like, what did you call him? He was like, ghetto. He was like, I was like, that's my nickname. Like, I'm cool with it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just, I'm accepting the nickname. He was like, hell no. You make a million dollars. You make millions of dollars just like they make millions of dollars. Rick, I don't want to ever hear you call him that again. And I don't want them to call you that neither. I was like, shit. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Then it was another one. <laughs> When Jermaine O'Neal and them was telling me, you know, because when you a rookie, you get haze. You got to yeah, carry yeah. like girl backpacks, but I ain't had to carry that. I just had to carry like some 20 pound poker chips. Uh -huh. And I used to put that off on James White. <laughs> but I used to have to be at the gym at 6 a.m. Had to be the first person on the treatment table for everybody, right? So my job was to go get donuts. Uh -huh. But the, in Indiana, when I was there, the donut place, the, the kind they wanted was way by the airport, and I stayed an hour away. So I had to get up at four in the morning Damn. and go there. So I'm from the hood. I'm smart. I'm like, I'm going to pay somebody to start going to get this. I started paying the ball boys. I'm going to give you $50 to go get these donuts. Yeah. And they wanted me to get some body wash. You know what I'm saying? So I was cool. I went to CVS <laughs> to get the body washes by the house. Uh -huh. Man, I bring that shit. I bring them CVS body washes in there. J.O. stacked them, looked at this shit. They was like, man, this shit say CVS. They threw all that shit in the garbage. 
I said, dang, y'all finna throw that shit in the garbage? So they started putting these pink. So I was like, man, I ain't never going to get that shit again. They started putting pink sheets in my uh, in my chair where they finding me $2,500 every day. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So they tell me one day, they was like, fuck it, since she ain't gonna go get it, you gotta cut your hair ball. They bring clippers to the locker room. So I'm mad, I'm down there depressed. I'm like, man, they got me fucked up. I'm not finna cut my hair ball. <laughs> so I go to Larry, I'm finna go snitch on yeah. them. <laughs> I said, man, Larry, listen, man, them folks, I gotta cut my hair ball and all this. The man looked at me. The man said, if you cut your fucking hair ball if you want to, you ain't gonna be on this team no more. So I was like, shit, fuck, I just really threw all my duties in the garbage after that. Yeah. And I was like, I said, what about these fines? It's like $20,000 worth of fines. He got them shits and tore them up. He said, I'm the only person that can find you. So Larry was my dog. Hey, what's up, man? It's your boy, Nav Green. And you know what I came to talk about? Prize picks. It's available in over 30 states. It's no excuses. And if you don't stay in them 30 states, move to them 30 states, because you're missing out. Man, all it is, more or less. Your favorite players. It's easy. 50-50 chance, man. You can win up to 25 times your money, whatever you put up. So if you put up 50, you win times 25. What's that? Man. You can win twelve fifty. If you put up a hundred, you could win up to twenty five hundred. What make it so good? If you deposit a hundred dollars using the broken play promo code, they gonna match up a hundred dollars. So now you got more chances to win all the money you can win. What you waiting for, man? Prize picks. Go type in the code broken play. Man, they got so many sports going on right now. You got college football. You got. Basketball, NBA just started back. You got NFL. Right now, pick it. Tour. Miami Dolphins. He gonna get all the yards you need him to get. That's a lot. Man, what you waiting for? NBA. Rebound. Who I like? Capella. I like Capella with them rebounds. With them assists, give me Trey Young. Uh, with points, give me Kevin Durant. I'm just, I'm just throwing you some options if you want to win some money. Shout out to Broken Play. Use the Broken Play promo code and go get you some money. Shout out to Prize Picks. So you ain't Thanks. even knowing, like, somebody else, they probably would have believed that shit. They would have believed because that's what that's the tone they set. You know, now the league different. I ain't no vets in the league no more. Mm, yeah, you know they, they like they done got a, got a way out of that. Yeah, because the vets, you know... They they bring their coach in there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They kind of fuck rookies up. If you ain't strong minded, that shit, man, you a you a foe. For you sure. How how I feel coming out of Memphis, like coming out of Memphis, like just even playing basketball, and I, like what like what what kept you motivated and stuff? Like when you knew, like I got a chance to make it to the NBA. Man, my brother actually, my brother, because I really didn't know. I played for fun. I stayed right by the community center in South Memphis, man. Uh -huh. I used to play for fun, and one day. My brother sent me on the joint on the mock draft. That man was like, before he got killed, he was like, hey nigga, you know you can go, you finna go to the league. I'm like, yeah, whatever. I always said I was going to the NBA though. Yeah. But I was just, it was just a burning desire to make me say that. But it was never like I knew it was serious and it could happen. My brother was like, motherfucker, you finna go to the league for real. And that's when I kind of it kind of clicked. Switch, it clicked. I'm like, damn, I am finna get paid. You know what I'm saying? I am Hell finna yeah, yeah, nigga, hold. Whole lot of lives gonna be changed. Yep, cause I used to mind get in trouble a lot in high school. You know what I'm saying? Shit, you you, you got us some trouble in the league too. Oh yeah, man, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> one foot in, one foot out. Yeah. You know, you a whoop a nigga ass quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just crazy. You know, I woke up kind of late, dog. I didn't. Like Larry even set me down one day in the office. He was like, "Motherfucker, if you ain't getting a hundred million from me, hundred and twenty million from me in five years, it's your fault." Mm -hmm. You know, and I was just so young. And not realizing like your own potential. Yeah, I'm just enjoying the ride. I was so happy to get there, and it was yeah. so hard to get there. I played my whole life, so I was just like, "Shit, I'm finna enjoy this shit." You yeah, know what I'm saying. Yeah, and and and, I, and the switch didn't click to at the end when I was seeing. I kind of figured the game. I was like, "Okay, they want high basketball IQ people, good character people." I was a good character. I wasn't gonna cuss no coach out. Mm -hmm. None of that shit. Yes, sir. No, sir. All but that. you weren't no goddamn yes man neither, though. Like, yeah, you but yeah. when I left the gym. You had 14 motherfuckers at the crib on the lake. You know what I'm saying? A pimp and this, this gangsters and just, just crazy, dog. Stuff I really, but I was having a ball. I, was, I yeah. just wanted to enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? Right. But by the time I woke up, it was kind of too late. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because you got to think, like, your life passed by. It's motherfuckers now who finna retire the NBA. Like, they going to start looking at them, them crazy. Like, look at a nigga like Dennis Rodman. 
You can't tell me home and enjoy his whole damn life. Like, the nigga played, but he enjoyed life. He, it's some niggas like Reggie Miller, you know that nigga ain't never enjoyed no life, man. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna lie. I, the quote unquote green people, they enjoy their life too, but they know how to do it. They had. They a be lot sneaky. Of, yes, mm. you know, you gotta check the phones in, sign the NDA, NDA NDAs no. and all, all that stuff been existed, dog. Yeah. They know how to do it, and they had the right people around them to tell them. The people I had around me couldn't tell me nothing. They never even came to me to even. Open up an LLC or nothing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They were just enjoying it too. They ain't even yeah. come to the game. But look, you know another thing though, like not to blame you or the people around you, it like what we don't know. You see what I'm saying? Like from our families, like into how we coming, if you if you get some money, the first thing you think about is what you done saw. You know niggas who go out, buy cars, buy jewelry, buy clothes. We ain't think about like they don't teach us that shit in school. Like, hey, make sure your credit straight. You don't find out your credit ain't straight till you about to buy a house or some shit. Be like, oh, that why I was supposed to be paying that type of shit. We just don't learn shit. How them on the other flip side of them white folk, they telling their kids now they gonna goddamn leave them life insurance money. Thanks. Nigga, I fuck. Grandma and granddad ain't leaving us no goddamn life. They think you gonna kill them if you put them on the pilot. <laughs> so it's that little shit like that. You ain't lying, because I had one financial advisor. My first uh, financial advisor, Gary Shaw, right? Uh -huh. He was a cold financial advisor, too. But, man, I didn't understand, like you said, the insurance policy. So I get to looking at my statements at the end of the month. I'm paying, I'm putting $10,000 in insurance policy. So I called him, man. I said, man, Lisa, why I'm putting all this money in this insurance policy? I said, yeah, like I'm finna die tomorrow or something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He he still didn't tell me why, but you know, now I know why. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a that's a good vehicle. You know what I'm saying? Good yeah. financial vehicle. That's how some people get the money to start start up. Right, yeah. facts. Nigga, now me they me won't die. Nigga, they up. They got <laughs> damn go get a house, facts. get some land, do all that shit. Facts. Who was some of your, uh, growing up, who were the basketball players you looked up to? Man, I ain't gonna lie. I looked up to Jordan and Allen Iverson. For and real? the rest of the people I looked up to were street cats, because where I grew up at, you know, the-, the Like they was in the sports or just, you just- Straight street. Oh, you know? yeah. I liked the shoes and the Trans Ams and the Blazers. Yeah. Were, I'm yeah. like, God, they were fresh. I was just yeah. looking up to them, but Jordan and Iverson was the people that lit a match under me that, that I like idolized playing mm -hmm. ball. You know what I mean? I'm surprised you didn't say Penny being from Penny from too. Memphis. I ain't gonna lie, I forgot about Penny. Because my granddad used to take me to the uh, to the Penny Capital Classic all the time. Uh -huh. right? And I used to save all them tickets and put them into the uh what they call it, the curio cabinets, all that grandma uh -huh. used to have the mm -hmm. trophies and all that in there. Uh -huh. Penny was a big uh motivation to me too. But Penny kind of hurt my feelings one time because he used to play in his post office league down at uh at Hamilton where I grew up at. And I asked that motherfucker for some uh for them uh phone pauses. <laughs> man, hit me. I, I waited till he walked to the bathroom, dog. I went in there. I'm like, man, let me get them shoes. I'm like, nah, 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 young for you, you don't need them. Man, that shit crushed me. You know what I'm saying? How old you? Man, man probably like when Penny and used to play, what I was 14, 15, when I used to be at the gym playing. 14 to 15. Wait, well, like, was you yeah, I, was I still was tall, <laughs> but that motivated me too. I was like, this motherfucker didn't give me them shoes. I'm looking at him like he, he rich. Like he ain't nothing after the game for him to just take them shoes yeah. off and give them to me. You know what I'm saying? And he ain't do it. That shit crushed me. And I told him about it when my wife did the podcast with him in Memphis. I was like, well, you know you hurt me, man, when you ain't giving me them shoes. He couldn't even remember it. He ain't even remember. Nah, nah, he was so funny. used to niggas in Memphis begging him. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, don't, I don't remember that goddamn time, nigga. Shit. Thanks. Nah, that's for real though. So goddamn, you said Jordan, Iverson, Iverson and Slick Penny, cause he ain't get a goddamn Penny, shit. Penny, I ain't gonna do Slick Penny, dog. Penny, Penny, yeah. man, Penny, Penny, bro, Penny was a dog. Penny though. was facts. That was nigga, it. Penny was a dog. That was nigga, it, nigga, sleep on his goddamn his game a lot. Like if it went for those injuries and shit, like yeah. going back looking at some shit, like God damn. Yeah, a lot Penny of folks really don't know Penny got foul. shot. Like I ain't oh, know that till I got grown. Yeah, yeah he got shot, in, he shot in high school. Yeah, he got shot in the foot on the block of uh, Lord Memphis and Bean Hampton. I read a damn. Um, I was in goddamn elementary. They at the book fair. They had a book. What the fuck? Fuck about a nigga read? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See these young nigga don't yeah. even know about book fair, man. <laughs> So I got them, got a book. It had Grant Hill and uh, Penny Hardaway. It was a like a side by side book about both of their life stories. Right. And now, so like uh, 
Grant Hill, his, you know, his dad played like in the league. NFL. Yeah. He grew up like it's, you know, established. They would just talk about Penny, how he came up in Memphis and stuff like that. But that shit just was dope. That nigga, it, uh, they called him Penny, but his grandma would call him Pretty. 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 Yeah. <laughs> and that Penny just stuck. I was yeah. like, damn. Yeah, but nah, Mr. that King shit was Cotton. dope, though. Yeah, Penny was dope. He dope now in Memphis, though. That was, yeah, doing that, was the that, best going thing back. to come out the Calipari. Uh -huh. Calipari, one of the best. Oh, for sure. Because you were in that first wave of Kyler Perry, Dewan Wagner, uh, Darius Washington, Rodney mm -hmm. Carney, Washington. and yourself got yeah. drafted in the same year coming out of Memphis. So tell us, tell us about that, like that experience oh, being in the first wave. Man, I ain't going to lie, man. Just for everybody to know, I went to the draft because it's too hard to play in college, dog. Them motherfuckers play hard, dog. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then you, they don't play with no money. Just run 100 miles an hour. Then the big man can stand in the paint. You know, I was just blessed and lucky to play we all went to a prep school because I had to leave because of my grades my senior year. I had to leave and go to Lawrenceburg. Uh -huh. And I was crying. I'm talking about huffing and puffing and slobbing crying because I wanted to graduate in Memphis and go to the prom and all that. Right. Got a period seen me one day. That man told me, look, kid, if you don't leave in three days, your career is over. <laughs> so, man, I woke up one day, man, went up to Lawrenceburg. And luckily, Lawrenceburg closed now, but luckily it was like five of us coming, going to Memphis. It was some LSU uh -huh. cats and everything went up there. And we all played. We went like 40 and 0 up there, you know, and we all came to Memphis. I still had to stay an extra year, but we all ended up coming to Memphis. But the team was so good that I ain't had to average nothing but 14 points or 13 points. And all the big games, I used to hit the 20s and the 25s. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I was conference or USA, what, player of the year. Yeah, as a freshman. Yeah, yeah but went to the Elite Eight. Um, man, I had a dope time. But, but why just, he said you uh, your career be over if you ain't leave? Cause I was gonna be ineligible. Cause I won. I was already sitting out. Cause Todd Day, he was a. Uh, I played for Coach A. His uh -huh. son was his stepson was Todd Day. He played the league, played for Phoenix and stuff. Uh -huh. Milwaukee and Phoenix, but um, I wasn't gonna play. You know what I'm saying? Cause right. something happened with my classes through the mail. But I'm sitting there thinking, cause I was gonna clown. I said I got to show out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The senior, cause I was cold. I knew I was cold. I just wanted to. Cause the game used to be sold out. Just waiting on me to play. Damn. But I was sitting there waiting to play. And Cal was like, "Man, if you don't play your senior year, you ain't finna play no more." You know what I'm saying? So I just left. I listened to him, went up there, and I finally came on, played a year. And I was like, man, I, it was so hard to play because I, I I used to didn't play good. And like we played TSU and shit like that. I didn't mm -hmm. even want to play. I was like, man, I don't want to play this. <laughs> I used to go out there and get two fouls, come out the game quick. But all the like conference, them big games against like P.J. Tucker, K.D., yeah. Adam Morris, and I used to clown on them games. Yeah. And I was like, man, I'm out of here. You know, was, so bro, on some some real shit, you play CSU, you'll get some fouls just to, just to come out because I <laughs> I couldn't get up for them games. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, was already in conference. But USA. look, see, you got a different mindset. You ain't anything in past stats. <laughs> Cause you know them niggas can't do shit with you. Like I ain't never played. Like I, I got a will for the pass stats when I got to the league. Okay, you know okay. What I'm saying, and I still didn't pass stats. I played yeah. with a passion. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I played with passion. Real dog I shit. Love, yeah, I love the game. I yeah. ain't never played a game to pass no stats. I feel like the people who did that, that's what kind of happened to D. Wash. He had a lot of people in his ear, kind of uh -huh. trying to make him. You know what I'm saying. Hit twenty, mm -hmm. hit twenty, but man, them NBA gonna draft you off talent. Yeah, they Not see no that more. Really. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's still the same because they don't really want to draft no seniors and stuff like that. You got to be a freshman. They gonna draft you on what you can. Yeah, cause be. you stay to your senior year. It's it cause niggas ain't really looking at you. Yeah, it's over. That <laughs> was a young wave back then in the early 2000s too. Hey, yeah, so, one and done. Yep. One Especially one. that was no, that was Memphis was known for the one and done. But that was the beginning of that. That was the beginning. A lot of people used to stay. They was drafting four year players, but you gotta understand the NBA a billion dollar business. Don't yeah. You? So they got their shit down to a science stuff we don't know about like analytics. They looking at. Okay, I'd rather get him after I'd rather get him in high school or after he a freshman, cause I got all these years to develop. Yeah. Him. You know what I mean? If he done did four years and uh he a grown man. He a grown man. Is he probably what he gonna be? You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> Knees gonna go out. Nigga gonna... got five years left. <laughs> yeah, he probably I got... think the only nigga who stayed a long time and still came in the league is Curry. But you remember when he came mm -hmm. in the league, he still was hurt that first year. PJ they... Tucker too. Oh yeah, PJ, he different though. Yeah, PJ Tucker. PJ though. different. That's what the league finna be made of. Like that's what the league made of now. Really, good IQ guys, guys who grind. Uh -huh. you know what I mean, the talent. It really don't mean none no more. You know what I'm saying? You got to get in there and show your talent. You got to you got right. to produce with that talent, would... or they gonna get you out of there. Who's some of your favorite players right now in the league? Man, you know LeBron gonna always be one of the favorites. Yeah, uh, Kyrie. 
KD, you know, because I used to play against him in pre prep school. He wasn't even starting. <laughs> what? In his prep school, the year I played him. But Montrose? Or? Yeah, that, yeah, Montrose I think, Christian? yeah, up in uh, D.C. In DC someone yeah. used to travel and play them. He wasn't even starting. Yeah. Nigga, who the fuck they hate? <laughs> Bro, he's some It had Grievous Vasquez on that team. Who? Grievous Vasquez. He went to Maryland. They got leave for a little minute. Name. I'm gonna tell y'all who was on our team. Y'all remember Vince Banks or something? Vince Banks. Bro, y'all don't know about Vince Banks. <laughs> this nigga was so cold. Bro. <laughs> .net know all the goddamn uh, it, so it was underground day, king. It was Vincent Banks uh -huh. or Lou Will. Lou Will basically was Kobe. Vincent basically was T Mac. So it was mm -hmm. like whoever you Lou. Lou ain't from Atlanta though. Lou was from Memphis. Yeah, Lou from Man, Memphis. Man, oh, yeah. who that hey, just you. told us? Me and you uh, played who was that together. Yeah. On really? The same team. He moved up here yeah. in like middle school. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. We we just got to argue with somebody a couple like, nah, we claim Lou here. Uh, who yeah, that was it? Kia Shine. Kia Shine. He yeah, the, he yeah. the one told us that. Yeah. I never we knew played that. Played on the same play for the Memphis Bulldogs. You know what I'm saying? I know his mom and everything. He from Memphis. Vincent Banks. I don't oh. know what he did there, but dog, he Vincent was scoring sixty and three quarters. He was shooting from Steph range. Then. Yeah, then. Like, yeah, he was like he took back. He over um Kobe. Which one, which one you want? You gonna run with Lou Will or you gonna run with um, yeah Vincent? Mine so was what pigeon happened, told. We don't know what happened. I don't know what happened after he left this joint. I think he ended up going to uh, Cincinnati Ray, or something. Ray Cincinnati. And something happened to somebody to put something in his weed or something. Oh man, Damn. you know what I'm saying? And, I, don't know the I hear so that. many stories like that, bro. Yeah. Mikey Williams right now committed to Memphis. He on trial and shit. Like, shit crazy. Yeah, that's crazy with Mikey, man. I pray for that, man. Yeah. I hate Damn. to see people, but people still can come back. I, I just hope he don't give up, whatever happens. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But if he get 10 years, it's kind of, you know, going to be tough to come back. But people who go through stuff can't give up with it, man. Because media, social media these days will make these kids give up if they have a little run in with jail. Yeah, 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 yeah for it. sure. Because yeah. I got six, seven mug shots, but, and I was out the league two times and came back. Cause I just stayed the course, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I ain't let the outside know it. I'm like, man, I just fucked up. That's yeah. it. That's when go get me some more money, right. you know, until it was too late. Yeah. What, what, like, out of, out of all your little, like, you know, incident, and I call them little because, like, you still here to tell your story. Like, some people don't, you know what I mean, have that chance where you can even give back and tell somebody that's coming to the game, like, mistakes gonna happen. Like, that come with it type stuff. Cause, like, at the time, you still growing as, you know what I mean? While right. you in the league, you still finding yourself. Right. But what's one thing where you like, man, I wish I never did that type of shit? Man, all of them, dog. Because all of them could have been avoided. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like from carrying the guns and, you know, but it was the right way because Larry and them even took the whole team. Because, you know, we ended up, they was in, we was in shootouts and everything at uh -huh. the Pacers. But they end up taking the whole team to get gun permits. You know what I'm saying? What you do is how you do it. That's right. what I learned mm -hmm. from it. You know, That's I used true. to just be riding around with a gun, a stolen gun. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just, Not just, but like, this is where I'm coming from. This is where I'm thinking, you know what I mean? I need to have some protection. Yeah. But then it's a right way to do it with somebody, you know what I mean? But still, if I needed protection to go to these spots that I was going why to. Why not have a security guard? Why not have why not security? Go? Why not go? I used you to got at, the money. I used to think, man, having a security, man, I don't need no security. Yeah. You know, so I'm going to have my niggas right here. Now, yeah. going, you finna get life. You know what I'm saying? Mm. If it ain't for the right reason, you shoot, let these guns discharge. You know what I mean? But all of them, dog, I wouldn't change none of them. None of them, because I, you know, I take all of them as lessons. Right, right, right for now, sure. Right now, I'm inspiring to be a coach. And what I went through in all these times. That's what helped. You can talk and like a nigga can't say, man, coach, you don't know what going. Nigga, I do. I'm just gonna tell him to Google me. Like I told, like I just uh, at OTE, JL was just down here. They got dynamic prep in Dallas. He got this big prep school, uh -huh. and it was my first uh, time being able to talk to the team. You know what I'm saying? But I can relate to them, and they eyes big like bow dollars. You know what I'm saying? Because I I didn't been where they trying to go. Right. And the stories I'm gonna tell you, you can just Google me, dog. If if, if you don't want to listen to what I'm telling you. Uh -huh. It's facts. I done been through it. I done lived it. You ain't got. You don't have to go the hard way. You can go the easy way. Yeah. And that's gonna make. I feel like that's gonna make me thrive in that area of it. To like see, cause you looking at it like you wish you had a, a, a coach Sean Williams when you were coming up. I wish I had somebody. I can't say I didn't have it because I had people like Zebo. 
you know, Quintel Woods, I, I seen them, but just coming from Memphis, dog, we be so blind. Uh -huh. You know, you can't expect everybody to wake up. Like the blindness come time, off. Yeah, yeah blindness come off. God make the blindness come off at a certain time. You know what I'm saying? So uh -huh. what I went through, I know I supposed to went through because it was already written. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. But because my career ended the way it ended. I was built. I ain't watched basketball for like five years. I for just, real? Yeah, I was just like, man, fuck basketball, because I felt like I still can play. Uh -huh. You know, I was just away from my purpose doing reality TV with my wife doing all that, but it's like the blind, it just clicked in my head. I was like, man, my purpose is basketball, dog. I can't never, because I gave my life to this game. Uh -huh. I can't never, you know what I'm saying, just give it up. So I just use it now as my, I'm finna help many kids, many younger adults as I can. Like Mike, I could, somebody could have just told him, you know what I'm saying, can't listen to young boy, bro, and think, you know, you can be GTA out here and shoot a pistol if he did that. Allegedly. Right, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? You just can't do it, you know? So that's what I'm I'm taking that avenue. I'm just, man, trying to motivate these kids and win some championships and get the accolades that I supposed to got when I played in the Man, league. shout out to that. Clap it up real quick for that. Yeah. Cause a lot of people don't even think like that. Right. For I want to sure. be a Hall of Famer coach, dog. I want to win a chip. You know what I'm saying? Hell I'm yeah. Involved. I'm going to be a fun coach to play with. I ain't going to judge you. You know, I know everybody going to make mistakes. I'm going to be one of them coaches. If you don't shoot the open shot, you're coming out of the game. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> shoot. You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> For sure. Yeah, damn. When we were talking about favorite players, you played with Kobe too. Played with Kobe. That's my dog, dog. I got some memories, videos with Kobe. For real? That's my dog, man. And how it was with Kobe? How he was? Man, because I don't, like, off the record, I don't. Some people done told him, like, Kobe was a fun teammate. Like, they told him, like, he'll do some shit for his team, like, take him play and just, like, man, they be I straight. I ain't gonna talk about, man, what, man, but, man, dog. Kobe yeah, that's that what realest, I said. Dog. Yeah. He one of the realest dudes, dog. <laughs> He have an event, like, they still do the uh, preseason Vegas trip every year. Uh -huh. Kobe started that. You know mm. what I'm saying? Where they get the Rick and Hazen out and all that stuff, dog. Mm -hmm. Like, Kobe a real dude, dog. I ain't gonna lie. Like people, but he's real serious about basketball. Yeah. Like, Kobe the type of go out and be out the four in the morning with you. You gonna go in the room and go to sleep, but he gonna be up four in the morning, five in the morning. You know, and Kobe seen something different than me. Cause one day we was playing, I think it was OKC, and I was out there getting off. When I come to the bench, I'm thinking he finna like, you know what I'm saying, celebrate me. That man looked at me. Like, Sean, you got to go harder. I'm like, damn, Cole. <laughs> I'm like, I'm playing hard as I can. I, I, I said, man, I might be on my way out the league. I feel like I can go. <laughs> oh, who you were playing here, you remember? We were playing against yeah. KD and Russell, oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, okay. and, 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 and I was, man, I'm- You I'm feel that, like you going crazy. That man. But he just looked at me, he know with my talent, he was like, yeah. there's more, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not giving more, I'm not in there. Two hours before practice, I'm just showing up doing the bare minimum. You know. What so I mean? he probably seeing what you doing that game. He like this nigga could always do this. I shit. I can do everything he can do. Yeah. He looking like motherfucker. You just gotta get his, give it your all. Yeah. You know I'm like I am giving it my all, but I'm just in the game giving it my all. Yeah. You don't see me diving <laughs> on the floor running hard. What'd you no, say? Son. You say shit. I might be out the way of the league, yeah, and I'm I gotta my go. Out, man. You know, I ain't going hard. <laughs> <laughs> but I play hard every game, but he's. I had to read between the lines. He talking about the other stuff. You know yeah. Saying? Weight room. You know what I'm saying? Watch Taking it film. more serious. That Taking type of stuff. Serious. And what Not, you saying now, the IQ part of it. Yeah. I, had, I got great basketball IQ. Uh -huh. It's just a lot of more stuff. Like these kids now, I used to just use training camp to get in shape. I probably wouldn't touch a ball the whole summer. But my talent yeah. would let me prevail. You know what I'm saying? But sooner or later, that now shit they get catch around up. with you. Yeah, it caught me quick. Yeah, yeah. When the league started changing, I started coming in training camp. Man, out of shape and shit, man. Uh, Frank Vogel one time put me through a workout. My man just sent me home, dog. <laughs> I didn't make a shot. I'm looking like, man, we still got training camp, dog. You know what I'm saying? To get in shape, but it was a different league. These kids coming in, working out year round. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Coming in in tip top shape. I came in with the old school, with Jack and them. You know what I'm saying? We used to use training camp to get in shape. Al mm -hmm. Harrington, Jamal Tinsley. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, what? Them, them, you named some players then, boy. Tins. It was my vest. Uh huh. With my vest, with my dog. So that shit was different. Was hey different. man, we were talking about it on the show a couple weeks ago, and tell me if I'm right or wrong, and you could be honest, Sean. I just feel like these niggas don't fight no more in basketball. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't. It's a man. The league didn't change, bro. Like, if you one of them niggas that's gonna fight. You ain't gonna get in the league. <laughs> yeah, they, and they already they they checking that shit at the door. Yeah, you got them folks that's gonna fake fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so be like, hey, hey, when right. they knowing somebody gonna hold them back. But back in the day, 
it was these folks going like Stackhouse. I played with Stackhouse too in Dallas. Uh -huh. He was one of them. He ain't gonna even try to fight you on the court. He gonna run. He gonna get kicked out the game and run all the way through the tunnel and meet you at your locker room. <laughs> Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so we can really fight. Nigga, ain't nobody gonna break us up. Let's yes, fight. Exactly. It's a different time now. It's like I said, it's a billion dollar industry. Like and they see that. They like they trying to keep the guy. But I be the feeling last was the malice in the palace with J.O. and Jack and them dog and Artes. That was the last of that. that. Sean, that <laughs> now nah, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Not them type of fights. I'm talking about just a regular. But you got though. people that come from our cloth, it is. It'll, it'll go to that. To this, in this day, if we was in the league, it'll, with the rap music like it is and Woo! all that, it should have spilled off the court. Oh, yeah, yeah for sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Out of the tunnels and everything. Come with all this social fly, media, that shit keep on, you keep on getting on, <laughs> and you scroll Instagram, nigga just keep showing you getting your ass knocked out. Oh, nigga, I got to come to every game you got. <laughs> Man, what? I got to send my boys to the city. You got to catch you coming out the tunnel. You oh, know yeah. What you, now that you say all that, keep the fighting out of that. You yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> you right. <laughs> that we lost, the league lost a lot of money, man. Bro, but yeah, that goddamn malice in the palace, that was something different. I came, I'm gonna tell you how crazy I am. I was back then. Uh huh. Man, when I seen that, this is how the Lord work. I was like, man, I hope I go to that team. <laughs> Yo, and I ended up getting yeah, drafted wow. by that team. Hey, Man. bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. When that nigga Jermaine O'Neal slid, I said, oh, home like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was that nigga. was so nigga. And Jermaine, man, I'm gonna tell you, Jermaine, one of the best. Veterans you can have, dog, because he used to give me the game. You know what I mean? Honest opinion. He wanted to win championships. He was coming out of high school. First dude with a hundred million dollar contract. Yeah, first dude went to with Portland. Yeah. Million contract. He just rolled with his team. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's what you're supposed to do. That was, yeah. that was the unwritten rules back mm -hmm. then. Right. You're supposed to roll with your team. He was just, he was a, I just feel a casualty in it. You know what I mean? Because yeah. his team was fighting. He couldn't sit back in the locker room right. and be like, I ain't Like, how no can punch. we go to the locker room? You done saw me, you know what I'm saying? Out there fighting and you ain't did shit. Man, that shit cost him. He would think it cost him what? Hall of Fame. 40 game? Me. You think it cost him the Hall of Fame? Yes, dude was a Hall of Fame talent, man. You know what, what I'm saying? You don't think he'd get in there? Yes, now from what he's doing. You know oh, yeah, he, he got to change that image. Look how long it's taking him, though. Yeah, I see what you're you know saying. saying. Nah, you saying some real shit. Image ain't never been terrible. Yeah. yeah that, that's the only thing they really got on him is yeah, that. It. But they'll use that shit against you, though. Facts. They, they, they'll feel it. like that's your mm -hmm. that, that's your image and shit. That feel like that's what type of player you is. Right. What kind of like what kind of teammate were you, though? Man, I was a fun teammate, man. All the people I played, I played with six teams, seven teams. Dog. Uh -huh. every, every time I see anybody I play with, bro, we... We lock in. It's all love. I want no dick riding teammate. I used to want to always do my own thing. Yeah. I changed that too. I really go kick it with the team. You know what I'm saying? More. You know what I mean? Like that real. I kicked it with Jack though. Like me and Jack, we used to have a bar. I got all my tattoos by the same tattoo artist who tatted Lil Wayne. Yeah. We used to have <laughs> Jack used to uh Jack married now, but man, Jack used to fly sugar them from the Magic City. Used to have a whole Magic City in the house, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We used to have a ball. Them boys used to be in there with red flags hanging out there. He plugged our whole team blood. Except me. I just, where I come from, you don't get in no game. You know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, okay. He from Port Arthur. He was already in the gang at that time. You know what I'm saying, man? But before I left that just half our team just coming up with red flags. <laughs> they pocketed. Blood. Even the white boy. No, nah, but they they <laughs> throw up blood, probably. Yeah. Jeff Austin and all <laughs> that. Yeah, throw it up. What's up, blood? What's up, fire? <laughs> Damn, Jack. Jack is hell, bro. <laughs> Jack done gentrified the goddamn team. Man, In what? Indiana. In Indiana. We had a championship squad, man. For we sure. Yeah, yeah. Got, yeah. got it together, dog. We just we just couldn't. And Larry, but Larry picked them. That's the type of dudes Larry wanted. He knew he'd take a dog hey, in the championship. But, have you watched Winning Time? Mm -mm. With the, It showed the Lakers versus uh, Boston. Mm -mm. That Larry Bird was a shit-talking nigga. If they depicting that nigga like that, bro, he talked that shit. Facts. And he was a dog too, though. A dog, you can tell. All my, all my guy fingers bent up like kind of how Dion's is. I was like, man, you was a hooper, motherfucker. <laughs> and they ain't yeah. have all the like medical staffs and stuff back then. Hey, will he still shoot around sometime with y'all? Yeah, I'll be changing my free throw. I, I go up there trying to be smooth and pretty, spinning the ball. Yeah. I might walk out there, man, cut all that shit out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show you something. That might go up to walk up to the line. He threw that ball. That man took three dribbles, shot the ball, made 10 in a row, and walked off. Said, that's what I want to see you do from here on out. Quit yeah. all that spinning the ball shit when you shoot. Yeah. Chain my free throw. My Especially percentage. if you're going to miss that motherfucker. Don't <laughs> right. Goddamn. I was probably like 40, 50% free throw shooting. <laughs> when I quit doing all that spinning and just started shooting, 
free throw percentage went up in anything. LeBron over or Joy? Cause you say you grew nah, up watching Jordan, but you saying LeBron. I'm, time where I'm, res I'm respecting the folks that came before the uh, Jordan, you know. But but right now LeBron is that thing, you know what I'm saying? Right. He got. Bro, what he doing in 20 years? That shit. That just hurt my knee. That shit. Thinking about. It. 21. <laughs> God damn. And Jordan was the type of wild dude too, you know. But LeBron, man, he like. That, they can't catch the that nigga doing shit, boy. He giving us the blueprint on how you supposed to do this. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? How he yeah. moved. That's how a nigga supposed to move, boy. Flex. You got motherfuckers just waiting on LeBron to, to, for something for them to damage Some, his. Right. You know bro, what I'm saying? His if injury. they ain't caught him yet, they ain't going to catch him. Man, period. It's crazy, bro. Uh, Magic Johnson just became like a billionaire, and LeBron's an active playing billionaire <laughs> playing basketball right now, which is crazy. Crazy. Oh, yeah. That's wild. That's wild. He gonna fuck, he gonna fuck around and hit a trillion. <laughs> <laughs> might. Just might. For sure. That nigga's still sure. playing at a high He's level. He's still playing, you though. Know, like, you know how sometimes, time like, man, it let these young nigga play. She, you is the young nigga. Yep. <laughs> man, they, it's gonna be probably two more years before he slow down until you can stop him. Bruh. Because he got it to a science. He's smart. If they manage his minutes, because he ain't been hurt. He ain't had no major injuries. I'm gonna uh -huh. go on wood for yeah. my guy. But, man, like... But what he do off the court, dog, man, be at games eating peanuts and peanut butter, got everything on the timer. Like, man, that's why I say giving us the blueprint. On they how say to make he it. uh he got his uh live in what trainer, trainer, mm -hmm. chef, everything. Yeah. Live at the crib. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, you ain't never heard that. No. I yeah. pump, look that shit up, yeah. nigga. You got the computer. <laughs> Facts. Yeah, yeah he in trainer, stay with him, bro. Year round, that nigga don't do nothing else. Yeah, like, <laughs> good job, like we all tried to do with LeBron, like bring all ten dudes with you. And he got it right. He one of the dudes that got it right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah that's Shout out to that's him sure. for that. For sure. Uh huh. That's crazy. LeBron. Now he got some. When he do leave, it ain't finna be hard for him to even find what else to do. He can go straight to TV. Oh, for sure. Straight oh. to because he already a people person. <laughs> right. So look, you were saying like when you want to, you know, train up the uh, the young players going up, showing them this and showing them that. So would you take the money or the championship? The what championship. you saying? That? Every time you taking the championship, Every time, cause I want to like be a winner, bro. I want to yes. be known as a winner. Yeah. Legendary. Uh -huh. The money gonna always come. You stay in your purpose and whatever you do. The money gonna you gonna come. get some money. And once you get older, to realize you be like, man, I can't even spend all the money. I don't. I can't buy them but some joints, a car. Spend the money on my wife. You know what uh -huh. I mean? I want something attached to my name. I want legacy. You understand what I'm saying? For sure. That's going to bring dollars. Always. Nah, that real. For sure. <laughs> For real. So, in a $100 million contract. Oh, championship, dog. I'm just making sure. <laughs> I'm going to leave you, though. I'm going to give it to uh -huh. you. When people win championships, what happens after that? When when the players win championships, they go get paid. Uh huh. So I choose the championship. The money's gonna follow back. The money gonna come. Yeah. They gonna sure. be good in that city for life. And it's a it's a yeah. roar. Right? Everything is spiritual, dog. Y'all gotta understand. People in the in that league, in the NBA, NFL, they want championship pedigree people. It's a pedigree. You know what I'm saying? You win that championship, that aurora is around you. You know what I mean? For life. Facts. And they'd rather have a person that won the championship and tell you how to get there, what we had to do to get there, because that's a hard thing. You got to, like, who said this? Andre Equidala is like, winning the championship, you got to beat a team two or three times in one game to even win. Because uh, they going to make a run. The refs going to do the refs, what the refs going <laughs> to do. Facts. And then you might be fighting against the goddamn crowd, the energy. Yeah. Like you coming, coming from behind or something like that. Right. I believe in it. I believe in God, but I believe in like they said the basketball gods too. You gotta have it. I want that championship roar around me. Yeah, well, nigga, look, that's a champion. That's a champion, dog. Ain't sure. nothing like walking around. What's up, champ? How them boxes be over? Yeah, champ, champ, champ. Hey, it don't matter how long them niggas ain't fought. Them niggas still. <laughs> <laughs> them niggas gonna pose. Them niggas ain't fought in thirty years, nigga. The belt been gone. <laughs> been lost. The belt. Been lost it. You champion. ain't gonna tell him that. You can't erase that championship. Yeah, yeah. Name. Fast. Hey, first check, what you did with it? Man, I ain't even had to wait to the first check because they give you, once you get drafted, man, Same Larry and them to give you advance. Oh, wow. oh for real? Money, but man. it's still your money, though. Man, I went about a house, a boat. I went about <laughs> the biggest house with all the rooms, and I ain't even put furniture in all the rooms, man. I house, boat. 
I bought the truck at the at the rookie transition before we even got to the season. But we had to go to the combine. And I couldn't even lift the weights in the combine. Me and I think KD was in there. He couldn't even lift it off the bar. Yeah, I, I, could, I got it off the bar. I got it on my chest. And that just didn't even come up off my chest. I had a truck waiting on me outside. A Cadillac truck. A Cadillac truck was waiting on me outside when I came out. He ain't give a fuck if you could lift that motherfucker or not. Nah, nah. I was like, I'm good draft to do it. Hey, get the bitch off me, man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I even tried. You know what I'm saying? I said, my shit ain't even lift it. Once I heard KD, he didn't even try to lift it. He was like, man, I'm straight. Yeah. And they, hey. You remember that draft class, because you know what I'm saying, you came out that year. But I'm saying, you remember how they dogged KD from that. They were saying, like, is he strong enough? You remember all that, all them they said? Right. I remember, dog. That's why I, t I told the man didn't even start in prep school to see. They just show you the, the persistence that man got and how, yeah. he take, how serious he take his craft. You know what I'm saying? Because to be one of them guys, you got to be like that. You yeah, got to for take sure. it serious. It's like all he want to talk about is basketball. You can ask the man about a girl, basketball. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What you riding? Basketball. What he love it. tonight. Bad. Like he don't even brush. My boy don't brush his basketball. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> brush. <laughs> man got into it with Draymond. I just want to play basketball. Bro. Yeah. yeah. He wasn't thinking about fighting. All right. Like, I, I oh, okay. Two. Draymond, one of them, uh, he's still one of them niggas in the league who'll fight. He ain't no no play play shit. No, he ain't. Draymond a fight. He one of them Michigan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He cut from that cloud, but still his professionalism. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he yeah. Oh, he know how to, he got an on and off button with that shit. Yeah, he know how he's to He's smart. Play. He know how to talk, too. Yeah, and I feel like Golden State handled what they did well with getting Jordan Poole up out there. You don't trade no champion, no dude who built the dynasty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they're going to always be successful down the line. You know uh -huh. what I mean? Golden State, because they roll with Drake Munson. So Great. They, oh, go ahead. But, oh, they have to um, make a decision this offseason with Clay, um, whether to keep him or let him go. What, would, what do you think? If you are in those shoes, what are you doing as a GM? Well, I feel like if Bob Myers was still there, he probably would pay him. I don't. I really don't know. Well, Mike Dunleavy. I played with Mike Dunleavy also in Indiana. I think Mike Dunleavy will keep that coach intact and pay Drake, uh, pay Clay. Probably not what he want, and let somebody else offer him a little more. You know somebody gonna go, offer. He gonna go get the money because he gonna yeah. feel disrespected. Because I've yeah. seen like have like watching Clay throughout the years. Do you feel like has he gotten better as a player? Throughout these all these years, I would say he don't have nah. to. What, exactly. what, you, what yeah. do you he want him to develop? He's better. a shooter. Yeah, <laughs> he's he a shooter he's, and he's gonna play defense. He's he consistent. I give him that. Let's he be consistent. Serious. Golden State is the one that changed the league. A big dude with his back, a big dude that want to post up with his back to the basket. I don't got a chance in the league. They ain't getting drafted. You can't shoot a three, you ain't getting drafted. They changed the whole landscape of the league. Uh -huh. Remember everything? Each three throw it in the post, cut off. Boom, back down, throw the hook. Ain't nobody throwing it into the post no more. It's straight pin down screens to a three. Uh huh. You know, they changed, they, them folks is his story. You know what I mean? What them folks did for the game, dog, it'll never be done again. What you think about Victor? Women Young, what's his name? Oh, yeah. Dude, uh, <laughs> what is that shot? Bro, I, I just seen him. Ain't nothing man to do, man, the other night. I was like, yeah, Lee, man. I, I don't know, bro. But he still ain't no back to the basket post. Yeah, dude, but no, yeah, yeah, he did. But I'm saying, well, how, how can you guard some shit like that? I don't know, man. But they, when Pop put some more people around and put probably one or two more people, it's over. It's a ring. It's a ring for sure. If he can hey. maintain, because they play eight, we play 82 games, bro. That's a lot of games, dog. Man, Sean, I talked a lot of shit about this nigga. I don't realize this nigga can't be stopped. That nigga Jokic. <laughs> Jokic, bro. <laughs> hey. In the main Don't live. When I'm fucking, I'm like, how hey, y'all? Stop this nigga. <laughs> you see the nigga move so slow, like, bro, put your elbow up. Stop that. Bro, I watched that nigga get the lake. I said, oh, this nigga a machine. But I knew he was going to be good with him. I think my last year, we ended up playing him out there. Uh -huh. Man, I looked at him. I was like, damn. Because his move, he's still quick, bro. Yeah. Be a big. He yeah. got guards guarding him. Yeah. He's a big man guard. Uh -huh. He would kill any center they put on him. He, he he turned quick. He turned yeah, so he, quick because yeah, he, he can't jump. He can't jump. He just yeah. then they say he say he don't touch a ball during the off season. He just yeah. ride yeah. ball horses. talent. Yeah, he just ride horses. That's all he do off season. Raw talent, dog. Man, that what Carl Anthony Town need to do. Go ride a damn horse. <laughs> <laughs> Cause he got so much talent, so much potential, and it be like you watch him like, what the fuck is you doing? He got talent potential. He just ain't that type of player. Like you know. It's a nice guy. Man. Just a nice guy, bro. 
You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to talk bad about no back because ain't no telling who Kona I got to go around. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, people right. like that end up being in the front office. Yeah. You know He's yeah. just a yeah. nice guy. Right. Yeah. You need dogs. Yeah, you still got to be politically correct, too. Facts, because that's, yeah, yeah. that's big, bro. I done peeped that, too. A lot of people. But shit, but then, Sean, you got to think, what about all the, the, the niggas, you know what I mean? Hey, you don't whoop. What if they in the front office? What you going to do? But we just squash it, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh. I, had, I had probable cause to fight this shit. That nigga <laughs> walking the hall. Oh, shit. Marvin Williams, <laughs> goddamn. Yeah, what happened with that? What happened with Marvin? Yeah. Man, Marvin, man, we was... Before you bring on him, he was, man, bro, I thought he was, bro, when the Hawks got Marvin Williams, and we asked Josh Smith, because he came on the show, he said, bro, they wanted Chris Paul so bad. What? Marvin was a coach. I remember him from AU, dog. Yeah. Um, but but like he I went say, starting a lot of in college. Don't never get to that talent, because we get in that league, bro. Mother it's like, like quick. That. Made, oh, that shit go so fast. Yeah. Of eye. When you out there, you be like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Then you got to go through your PTSD because we crazy too. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Motherfucker kind of dismiss our mental, you know what I'm saying, stability after going from circus life to doing nothing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Getting everything free to get nothing no more. They be like, oh, that nigga out the lead. Uh, he out the lead. Like, that shit's supposed to last forever. Yeah. You know what I mean? But Marvin Williams, we came in, we was on the cusp. The time we came in the league, the league was changing while we was in there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We not knowing, like, this shit finna change. We got to work out year-round, dog, to keep up with this shit. Mm -hmm. And we kind of, you know, was like, like, I, what's the word I'm looking for for, like, a, um, like a casualty in it, you know what I mean? To where, you know, we ain't reach our potential because we ain't do a lot of the stuff that these younger kids did and we just was dispendable. Like, we ain't finna, even though the vet minimum don't count, count towards the cap, but they was like, okay, we know these niggas ain't finna be LeBron. You know what I'm saying? Let's go find another, the next LeBron. Uh, right? You know what I mean? Because every team, all these people in these office positions, they want to win because they job on the line too. You'll be surprised because I'm in a, in a class now. You'll be surprised. Stuff I never knew that go into this. When analytics came in, bro, you can't cheat this game no more. Oh, yeah. Period. <clears throat> Just like you sit up there with the information. Y'all know because y'all from the hood and y'all sports fanatics. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Y'all been watching this all y'all life. Y'all probably gamble on it and everything. Yeah, see, that's what that's what got me <laughs> invested. I ain't too much into the analytics neither. I got them. If I get you to go 20 points, I want to see 22. <laughs> <laughs> but like far as like, like, you know, like some of them, like they be like Marcel and Don, they might know the history. Like if you name a player, .net might know what high school the nigga went to, what middle school. I don't get into that. But that oh. means something. Yeah. That stuff means something. But see, they take pride in what, what, like, a player, like, you know what I'm saying, what they come from and something like that. You know, when I start liking a player, bro, when I learn their story, when I learn a player's story and know what they came from, like, anytime I see a documentary or some shit, like, I had watched Kevin Durant documentary about his mama and stuff like that, like, him and his brother and how she was training and pushing him, make the nigga run and stuff like that. That's right. why I like, after I see that, I want you to win. Everybody got some stories, bro. But everybody, everybody got some. Some people got some real, like Hollywood deserving stories. Uh -huh. Like, mm -hmm. man, I forgot. Like, I got a story. I got indicted in the league. You know what I mean, bro? One time we playing in uh, Indiana, bro. It's so crazy, bro. Halftime come. We playing Chicago Bulls. I never forget it. Man, I'm walking off the court, man. The U.S. Marshals on the side of the court, standing with Larry Bird. You feel me? I'm like, he's like, Sean, come here. Take me all the way around the locker room in the um in the in the in, in the referees locker room. And they sit me in there. I'm already knowing what they there for, because I had a partner who was uh -huh. uh up there and he had just uh on a live somebody in Memphis, but he had been up there, you know, hiding around and stuff. Man, them folks that ran in my house and everything, dog. But that's why I feel like that's why I'm on this path and on this purpose, because I feel like I let a couple people down, like my agent happy. Like Larry, you know what I'm saying? Because he handpicked me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I said, nah, I can't let that go because that go on his record. I don't want to be no stain on his record. Uh -huh. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm like, I got to change all this and make all of it right. Nah, that real. What you at? Dom asked, what you asked? Oh, yeah. What, uh, when you got into a Marvin Williams? 
Man, he mugged me in the back. He touched my head, bro. You know what I'm saying? I did some bullshit. I kind of, you know, somebody running in front of you, just grabbed the other side so you can get a boost and go in front of him. But by the time I got in front of him, he just mushed me in my head. I'm like, what the fuck is he doing? And I turned around, but he tried to hit me, though. Oh. Andrew Fields, the GM of the Hawks right Man. now, I love him. After that game, I told him, Marvin would have hit me. He would have connected. You know what I'm saying? But Landry tripped up and just grabbed him, fell on top of him. He, we ain't never hit the ground, but he just fell on top of him and he stopped his punch from hitting me. Because I'd have looked at it a thousand times. I was like, bro, don't you know you stopped me from getting hit on national television? This shit would have spilled over, dog. Hey, you know Sean, <laughs> you, you probably think that nigga a lot. You wouldn't even be here talking about coaching right now. Man, I wouldn't, it wouldn't have happened because after the game, a lot of folks, because they already knew I was combative and I had certain people around me at that time. Before we got on the jet, man, Josh Marvin was calling me. They put us on Raymond Felton. Okay, okay. Raymond Felton was on From that North team. North Carolina. They called Raymond phone and Raymond then put us on the phone, me and uh, Marvin and Squash. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that they was like, they don't want yeah, this to go right. no farther, but they did it for me. They were like, they don't want this to go no farther. <laughs> nah, Memphis nigga crazy. I'm like, man, I'm not finna lose no more money. I'm trying to see because you get spending a game of punch. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> So you got to make that first one count like a <laughs> motherfucker. And I threw two punches. They gave me two games. I lost probably like $120,000. I said, man, Shit, God, man. I ain't never fighting in the league no more. Period. And never fight no more after that. That was the last one. Man, you, all you got to do is take a black man money. <laughs> I ain't never doing that. 120? 120, dog. Easy. I was looking for the vest to say, man, we're going to looking for Stoudemire to say, because he had just got that 110. I was going to say, if he gonna, see if he's going to pay this fine. Ain't nobody. You're going to live through this, buddy. Ain't nobody <laughs> talk up. Man, no, period. They man. rolled with me on the court, but they ain't get suspended. I got suspended. They had to pay that out of my checks. I was like, woo. I think I got a $3,000 check a couple times. Damn, what? Yeah. Mm. Nigga, if that don't make you stop fighting, I don't know what will. Facts, bro. Nigga, whole spending change for that goddamn month. Man, like, nah, we gotta cut back on, on some of that shit. Yeah, no turn them lights off. <laughs> <laughs> Candles everywhere. Yeah, turn that shit off. Hey, Sean, I always wonder, like, who is um, someone you played with that we might not know? I always like to know about the cold niggas in the league who ain't really get the opportunity, like, like for whatever reason. Oh, man. Or it could be a nigga that he grew up with that, like, yeah. he knew was cold. Man, you know, Memphis, we got a lot of them, dog. Um, like an underground legend. Yeah, underground that way. Legend, yeah. yeah. That yeah, niggas, Andre if you Adams, say their name. We had uh, Rico Duncan. Rico Duncan. You Snap Hunter. Rico Duncan sound. Snap Hunter got a shot. T Head, uh, who hit the 85 points in high school. What Man. the fuck? Shooting threes. He was Steph Court, scurvy, four Steph. He 85 points, 86. Still points. in the streets and stuff? He ended up going to Nebraska somewhere. That's why I say people from down south, you don't go to yeah, no, okay. close to your home. You end up getting like a rape charge or something, and it was Man. over with for him. Um, Damn, was cold, boy. Dog. On the AAU circuit, dog, they didn't get it. Uh, ain't that many, dog, because. The NBA do such a good job, bro. The, the good ones gonna get in. They pick. They gonna get mm, you. They yeah. already. They, if they want you, they gonna know how to hide certain yeah, shit. Yeah, for sure. If you sweep if shit you're out not of the person world, that's gonna go in there and cuss them out and do all that. They can think they can fix the street stuff. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? If you one of them motherfuckers that's gonna be in there kicking the locker doors in, fuck y'all trying to fight them and shit. <laughs> they gonna get you so far away from around. They don't want to see they you. They don't want that shit around them. Period. Boy, boy, Kevin Porter got in that. Kevin Porter. I wonder um, how he is now. Um, Kevin Porter Jr.? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I That's feel like he'll be all right. Okay. I feel like he should. I hope right. so. That yeah, nigga got game, boy. Oh. But I really don't know with this new league, bro, because like I said, bro, they, that's, they lose money with it, especially with the uh, assault on female, because yeah. this, this world kind of being ran by women right now. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? You do something to a female, they're going to cancel y'all. Oh, they're going to make sure. Because they got to, because now it's to the point like they ignored so much stuff for so many years and decades. Now they got a point to prove. It could be something minor. Oh, nigga, we finna throw the book at your ass. He's not we, getting paid, though. Yeah, we he, take this shit serious. If he do get another chance, he gonna go in there for the... Going through, he's finna get paid. He's he finna get a dumb check. And they pulled it on back, bro. But that's why so I day before feel, free agency opened up too. Yep. That's why I feel like these folks be turning out them eighty million, eighty-eight million. 
to get an extra 10, you take that money right then. Yeah, you don't know, get a, yeah, you don't know you what's going to happen in two weeks. Bar. You might get in it, might, anything can happen. You uh -huh. might have a wreck, bro, and just have a joint on the side of the door, bro. And that bad pub going to cost you that money. Shit. Or nothing will happen like Dennis Schroeder and you just don't get paid mm -hmm. at all. Don't get paid. That dumb bro. ass nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Schroeder. Man, they had, he had the money. He had, he had the bag. No. Hey, yeah. but like they yeah. told that nigga, he, they said he the type of nigga, he got, he got an ace and a king and say, hit me. <laughs> 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 hey, that nigga dumb as a motherfucker. That's, that's a good analogy for it, though. Yeah, mm -hmm. What's a, a hundred and one twenty? You can get the same thing with a hundred million, you can get with one twenty. Yeah. Like, look at Nerlens Noel. Well, I don't think he is he even in the he league. He ain't even in the league right now. But turn down, man, bankroll. Yeah. And he ain't even in the league. Ain't even in the league. You can't, you can't tell me he ain't got post-traumatic stress syndrome. He's suffering somewhere sitting yeah. at the house, dog. Tall as hell. My agent, dumb as shit. You know, probably, if not, Rich Paul was his agent at the time. Yeah, yeah, agent probably Damn. tell you to take it. Right. Oh, yeah. He probably felt played. No, I'm starting this, because the analytics, you know, they got a, they got a chart they go by. If you average right. these many rebounds, these many oh, points, okay, you're supposed okay. to get this. But shit, what's 20 million off? What's 120 and 100? Nigga, a hundred, nigga. If you got one twenty, nigga still gonna call it a hundred. Yeah. That's a gay. That nigga a hundred million. <laughs> like one and of you dumbest, got a hundred. You like got one of the dumbest decision I made was leaving New York. That was my career year. Why? Brung Melo, mm -hmm. chasing money. Oh. I could have got two point five million guaranteed with the other year two point five, um, a team option. I took my dumb ass over across the water to New Jersey with Ava Johnson for six million dollars. Bro, ain't nothing like playing with a historic organization like the Knicks. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Chasing the guaranteed money. Every, nigga, playing in the Madison Square Garden, that's where everybody <laughs> pump up the goddamn go play. Bro, I can't go nowhere. But like, man, you my Knicks, my Knicks. Even the Heat like that. But I was on my way out when I went to the Heat. But I went and chased a guaranteed $3 million, extra $3 million that was guaranteed. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because in New York, all that shit. Come on, man. Yeah. You get appearances. Yeah. You ain't playing with Melo, man. We get tickets to the uh, to the uh, the Yankees games. Just all oh, the money would have came so many different yeah, ways. Yeah, different ways. And he won no different of money. 2.5 million guarantee. I'm gonna get the other money. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? The, the now you knowing that now, you seeing how to what the hell? Because I'm learning, I didn't learn the salary cap. I'm learning because I'm taking the GM class one on one. I'm learning. Oh, you oh, you learning yeah. everything. I'm going, I'm being a coach, but I'm I want to learn the whole ins and outs. So I won't tiptoe in my position. I want to mm. know this shit. You ain't finna bullshit me or get nothing by me neither. You know what I mean? Cause yeah, I yeah. Cause it'd be like, I'm like, damn, coach, you told me. No. I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, nigga. He'd be like, why I ain't playing? Guess what? I'm gonna break these plus minus out on you. <laughs> <laughs> This why you ain't playing. Every time I put your head on yeah. the court, yeah. shit, you a negative seven. We go down 10 points, dog. I can't yeah. play you, son. You know what I'm saying? Bro, yeah. we need coaches like that in the league that's going to be mic'd up. Right. I don't want to hear all that soft-ass shit like, no, no, we going we go to win. We got to fight hard. No, hey, man, what the fuck y'all doing out there? I don't care because you shoot pretty dark. This is what these people using. I'm finna use the same thing, bro. Yeah. It's, they got it there for a reason. I want a dog saying? out that bit. Man, for real. Who, I started 23 games for Miami, dog. Supposed to pull me in the office. My, my plus man was at 11 or something. I can't play you no more. Like, put me on the bench. I'm like, damn, we winning all right. But they got to see if I take you out and put somebody in with a with a. Let's see if it changed. Yeah, it changed. But mm -hmm. I ain't even making it to see if it changed. They traded me on my birthday. You know what I'm saying? Damn, yeah, oh, my birthday. Did you did you catch any of the uh Linsanity? Or that was No, nah, I left. You left, yep. yeah. Yeah, I wanted to be there for that. Yeah, yep, yeah I should have been there for that. Yeah. But I was solid today, uh, cause Mike D'Antoni, man, one of the greatest coaches to me, dog. A lot what? of people don't say that. That's a, a lot of I of them don't like him, bro. But man, D'Antoni, a players coach, dog. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He told us straight up, like, you can succeed in a uh in an offense or in a in a in a um in a system like this, when he tell you first 12 seconds is for y'all, he talking about the role player. The last 12 seconds, give it to Melo or, or Stoudemire. Uh -huh. So we already know we're going to get that ball out. We're going to push it. I'm going to either shoot this joint before I get to 12 seconds, and I'm going to make it, or we're going to get to Stoudemire and him. And he make it so easy for you to succeed. You know what I mean? Because uh -huh. every the game is sped up now. He was one of the first people with that fast yeah, offense man. in Phoenix. Steve Nash. And uh -huh. everybody... Under Mike D'Antoni, he get people paid, bro. Facts. You know what I'm saying? I, I hope he get another shot at coaching. Hell yeah. For real. That's yeah. one of them, man. He's a player's coach, dog. Nah, for real. For real.
And Ooh. I hope it be a lot of more different. I hope they open it up for a lot of ex players. You know what I mean? But oh yeah, yeah. We have a problem with going through. You know what I'm saying? Going through the uh, the process of it. Like we feel like you know we our ego be already fucked up planning in, but we feel like they just should put us in there. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But they got to understand the person that hired you, they job on the line too. And the person that hired the person that hired you, job is on the line too. So a nigga like I think in our in our generation, the first person I done seen that flip fast was like Jason Kidd. But Jason Kidd, I played with Jason Kidd in Dirk in Dallas. Um Yeah, but he already a coach, you know what I'm saying? I ain't seen nobody else make that, that transition. But then my basketball IQ is something different. Mm, you know, okay. so he played like for a point guard, it'll be easy. Like Rondo, them, it'll be easy. Oh, for Rondo, them man, to transition to coaching. They say he want to be a coach too, Rondo. I think he up there with uh, Kentucky. Yeah, Kentucky, yeah, yeah Calipari. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be up there in Holly Cow in a couple weeks just to shadow them. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going around. I've been going up there to Georgia Tech with Damian hey, Stoudemire, Buns and Wells. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? All the Ooh, y'all remember Buns and Wells? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The headband. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was over there coaching. Yeah. What's some music you came up listening to? Like, what what used to get you pumped up when you? I ain't gonna lie, I came up on that Gotti, oh, Play or Fly. Yeah. Um, nobody needs you know, nobody. Popper, you know, me and Dog went to school together. We grew up in the same neighborhood. For real? You know, Long the CEO of uh, Paper Route Daddy, yo, that's my real cousin. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm from Cash Stadium, too. Like, my grandma used to own a cafe, you know, where you used to put the slot machines and all that with the steam yeah. tables in Cash Stadium. Like, I went to Magnolia. And then I went to Hamilton. Dolph went to Hamilton. You know what I mean? All like, we all grew up together. Dolph didn't play sport, did he? Nah, I used to cut her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He used to be a little barber for okay. a little minute. You know what I mean? It, that's why it shocked me when Big Daddy came to me. I had, a, I had the opportunity to invest in Dolph. I was in the Damn. league. I had the opportunity to invest in Money Bag Yo. Whew. Little Larry, the DJ, he brought Money Bag Yo to me. Shout outside out to Little Larry. Outside, outside <laughs> the uh, script club one day. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? He was like, I'm telling you, I had a little rapper. Then, crazy, I don't know why I should have just, but I'm so loyal to a fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? He brought Money Bag. He was like, man, I'm telling you this to do, this to do. But I was just loyal. I was like, man, I ain't got the bag to spread it out there far. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Who, uh, do you, you still cool with the rapper you had? Man, no. Oh. Hell no. He, did he even get close? This motherfucker, man. This man. I started putting money behind him. That man hit me with, he want to go back to school. I'm like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I took him down, I brought him down here, got him with drama, boy. We started doing photo shoot, took him to two chain video, took him to Louis Vuitton Stone. All of a sudden, one day, that man called me. You want to go to school and do what? Man, moved on Memphis campus. He said, I just want to go back to school, man. He was a little con artist, dog. You want to oh, knock man. his ass out? Bro, all my partners wanted to knock him out, too, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ended up getting back with him because he's still talented. I just told him, you need to probably start writing. Write for somebody. But I something. passed up on Dolph and Moneybag. Bro, Moneybag, yo. When I, man, cause at first, you know how somebody like, he, somebody come out of nowhere. Like, you know, Memphis, y'all probably knew of him and stuff. Man, when he first, I was, him and Gotti did that mixtape. Did it Federal or something? No, yeah. he had the Federal mixtape. Yeah, I first see, I missed that way. The first song I heard was with him and Gotti, that doing too much or something like that. I'm like, oh, buddy could rap. I heard another song. And like it was his flow. I was like, oh, buddy hard. Buddy hard. He got that work ethic, dog. But see, with Dolph, I heard, the first time I heard Dolph was on uh, fucking with uh, Gucci. Okay. And, and I heard Dolph on there. I knew Dolph. I said, that nigga really living his, because Gucci, you know, Gucci will put anybody on his music. Like, if he feel like you a street yeah, nigga and talking about that, no, Gucci will put, like, Pee Wee. When Pee Wee first started rapping, <laughs> Pee Wee wasn't talking about he just talked about what he was doing, but he went yeah, rhyming. Right. That fast, nigga Dolph just was talking on that bitch. I said, he got to be doing everything that nigga saying. <laughs> my, my that nigga Dolph started yeah. getting better with that music. Man, he put that work in. Man. Yeah. I seen it. On his crowd. I was like, man, but I'm glad. You know, everything happened for a reason because I probably couldn't take them boys where they went. They end up in yeah. ideal situations. It would got, yeah. It got, but you yeah. know, Dolph stayed independent. You know what I'm saying? Just did the distribution. You would have had them boys too lit, though. Man, not really because my cousin, daddy, yo. Man, he he had, he been had his head on straight because he was always a street guy. He so big, he was smart to 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 last that long coming from the streets for real, selling bowls and doing all that coming from the streets. Yeah, not having number probably one fumble that whole time. He was smart, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I probably he came and begged me, man. I'm like, I'm telling you, he it, he it. Man, came down here, spent that money with Gucci and two chains, came uh -huh. back. 
He started pumping, and I just seen him. I just seen him go. Nigga, if you if you didn't stay down with basketball, but you always said you knew you were going to the NBA, which, which, what else you think you could have did? Or would have did? Man, I ain't know, bro. <laughs> Man, I ain't no telling, bro. If I ain't get basketball, I probably end up a drug dealer or something. Bro. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> stupid. Because that's what I was. Yeah, that's you all you seen. I ain't had that much opportunity, and that's all. I thought you were going to say rap or something. No, I can't rap. I tried that. For real? Man, I just can't get the beat in my ear and try to talk to <laughs> I went there a couple times with my wife. Let me see what I can do with it. Yeah. Man. When they get that money, like, man, let me go talk my shit. Because <laughs> I was trying to tell my little rapper what, how to say it. Yeah. You ain't talking about shit. I'm going there. I, this how I you looked do at it. that nigga. I said, man, you got a talent, man. You got a mental talent. Man. I can't do it. Please. Yeah. Nah, for sure. <laughs> Lie. Well, we should have heard. You should have brought some of your music. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we need to sing something. Yeah, I got the song too, man. I let my wife hear that song. She fell. What she said, man? She fell. She was like, "Uh, uh-uh, who is me?" Nah, that was yeah. bad. She didn't try that. I said, "Yeah, my voice don't sound." Right. Yeah. I found like one of the five heartbeats on this. <laughs> hey, at least she real though. Think about all the women who got to sit in the car Ooh. and listen to their baby daddy meditate just around like, "Boy, cut this shit." <laughs> oh. Boy, I tell you, you know, I tell her, I tell people. Quick, now, man. Like a rap, being a rapper, man, is excuse to be a loser, dog. Cause there ain't really too many playing B's and C's in rapping, dog. At least in basketball, if you don't make it, bro, you can be a coach by learning the game. You can be <coughs> in the front office. You can go around and be a referee. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Anything. If you don't get no hit, bro, and wind up 35 years old without no hit. Oh man, right. I don't even want to know that life. You feel him, girl gonna be on you, nigga. What you? I'm at the studio. Come in. You ain't, and she gonna tell you one day you ain't made a hit yet. It's over with. Man, you everybody. I don't never want to tell a nigga don't chase your dream, but at a certain age, nigga, come on, bro. I don't even put age on it no come, more. Now, I do put age on it because if, if nigga, your son a senior, <laughs> ain't no goddamn way you in the studio. Get get the fuck out that studio and take that boy and get him prom suit, man. <laughs> I look at it like this: if you can kind of. If it ain't your purpose, bro, I feel like I don't care what age. If that was your, sure. if you got on, a lot of these niggas, it ain't their purpose. Yeah, it ain't. If you ain't got on and you been rapping for twenty years, and you ain't had a big buzz, and you know what I'm saying, got paid from it. That ain't your purpose, dog. It might be selling cars, or you know what I'm saying. Nigga be like, man, DJing or something. Twenty right. years, I dropped the streets away. Nigga, we ain't heard the shit yet. <laughs> man, for real, like, but I feel like people like Tip and all them. I feel like I feel like he should continue to rap. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. That's your purpose, nigga. That shit paid you. Man, that nigga. You know what I'm saying? He a solid good. dude. And he's still good at rap. Yeah. Bro, you go back and listen to like old shit. Like, I think the era, I'm going to say this. The era we came up on, the, them rappers was before they time, bro. Them niggas were young and rapping good as a motherfucker. Yeah. I like, I feel like, bro, it's just time to change, bro. We listen to hustling music coming up on Jeezy. Pimp C kind of put us on the, the abuse music with the lean and all that. Mm-hmm. But now we listen to the Grand Theft Auto type music, Man. scamming, killing. Hmm. It's a total different time. Man, bro. Sean, the beat don't even be done dropped. These niggas done killed three niggas already. <laughs> Say, God damn, young nigga. And they be rapping. They cold. Yeah. Hey, bro, because you know when the Jits with me, I, I let them pick their song. Like, you know what I'm saying? I try to be fair in the car. Don't just listen to what I like. <laughs> but some of them, I say, hey, this enough. God damn. <laughs> These niggas, and they ain't talking about fucking. Nah. These niggas just killing. I don't feel like they even know the power they got. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Rapping, bro, because these kids be streaming their music so much, they have all these streams. I don't even never even heard of these niggas. Man, what? About the time they get 30, they going to try to turn around and write. They be like, damn, I done mislead a lot of motherfuckers, boy. Boy, what? Gonna them niggas respect. probably, man, them niggas be dropping out so early. Them niggas probably don't even know what a pencil look like. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I went to college one year, man. I got in this class. I put out an application to um to put the job in at Lamont on the HBCU with Bonds and Wells just left from. Uh-huh. Man, they told me what I had to do. They were like, you gotta do a cover letter and a resume. I said, I ain't never did no resume and no cover letter. <laughs> and you got to do it in business form. I had to get Googling and all this. And I'm like, oh man, I can't even talk like this. You know what I'm yeah. Fresh accord. Like, nigga, I'm a hands-on. I'm a, you gotta see me hands-on, nigga. Don't ask me for <laughs> I my was in shit. the NBA, nigga. Yeah. Yeah, but now you got to learn it though. You got to have, sure. you got to be versatile with it. Man. Hey, with the college shit, like, did y'all have some privileges and shit? Like, when you, when you knew you were leaving, but like, what you did you take it serious though? 
I tell you, we had Cali Perry right going. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, for Calipari real? Cali Perry had them folks picking us up on golf carts. You know what I'm saying? So we went, yeah. And they used to spin the block in the classroom to make sure we was in there. Oh, then damn. We used to go out, though. We used to go out. We was perfect. Shout out to Cali Perry, in man. The club, man. Cali Perry went to every club owner and, and went to the news and made a press conference announcement. You probably can Google this. And ban all of us from the club. Damn. For real? Told us don't let nobody, nobody in the, in the city. Because they love their team so much. No, none of the promoters And they the went there. They like, hell yeah. We ain't let us in no show. more. You know what I'm saying? Good. Period. Damn. Kelly Perry is so real. I, mean, I used to go to a car wash on Crump. And I don't know what information he had. One day, that man pulled me in the office one day. It's like, kid, you be at this car wash smoking these cigars and stuff every day. I'm like, I'm like damn, I ain't know. He said, kid, don't go to that car wash no more. You can't. He said, once you go to the NBA, you can smoke all the cigars you want. <laughs> but, but while you're here, you can't go to no more. The next day, the police hit that car wash. The Damn. next day, mm. police ran in that car wash. Think about it, if you would have got down, ignored that shit, man. Yeah. And, and been out there. there. Yeah. My partner, they would have let me come up there because they, right. they had a little boom boom room in the back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You go in there, nobody know you there. The police ran in there jumped the next day out. That's when I looked at Cal, I said, man, I love Cal, dog. Nah, hey, but look, this might be some on some inside shit. The, the, they probably talking to Cal, hey, is this one of your players? Yeah, you know, man, Memphis small, bro. Yeah. Memphis just like, imagine Atlanta being just in, man, just in probably the Marietta part or something. The whole, mm. the whole Atlanta with all the little outskirts and all that stuffed in one little space. Uh -huh. That's just how it is. That's why it's so violent down there like that. I didn't know that shit was so close to Arkansas and Memphis, Mississippi. Yeah, right there. We, everything right there. Yeah, Smooshed together. Like, shit, no one of these niggas stay in trouble. <laughs> Nobody He's, really go to Mississippi, though. Or Arkansas. They don't go to none of them places. That nigga ain't trying to go to Mississippi. Nah, when they got them, when they got to handle their business, they go. That's nah, an easy place to go to chill. No, man, ain't nothing to chill at in Arkansas. Oh, if you don't did a crime, you'll find somewhere to chill at. Man, them folk gonna go to Vegas somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get caught in them places because they gonna ban you. Oh, no, yeah, they okay. Gonna, they gonna charge you way worse than what Memphis will do to you. Especially Chris? Miss... What? Oh, I know Mississippi. Man, Arkansas too. Damn. Boy, man, listen, man. People don't even cross them state lines like that from Memphis. For sure. Well, Sean, man, we hope we hope we wish nothing but goddamn success with your coaching and and what the word I'm looking Endeavor. for endeavor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I been trying to use the word, man. It's, what you had something to say that? What? You still cool with any of the players in the league? Damn, all of them, dog. Um, I just started back using, you know what I'm saying, that because I ain't no big and dude. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, Josh for sure. Ride, but. Uh, like, I ain't never left off on bad terms. Like I said, I just was with J.O. the other night. Bonds and Wells. Even players I don't play with. That's the main Josh Howard. <laughs> uh... Bro, shout out to Josh Howard. I went to wow. Alabama State. His goddamn brother played for uh, Alabama State. Smooth, my boy. You know, he picked me for the uh, big three. You know what I'm saying? Because I was overseas. I went overseas one year. And I, and I wanted to win the championship over there. I went over there for about two, three months to play with the crown prince and the king. I cut it. We needed one more player. I called Josh. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never played with Josh. Yeah. But the contract wasn't big enough. Charles was like, nah, they got to come up. I, I take 140. One number one game. They offered me like 70 bands, I think. Josh was like, man, nah, that ain't enough. Damn. I was like, shit, all right. But the next season, Ice Cube had to wasn't. I ended up picking me. You know what I'm that saying? That was up. Making 100 bands out of that. Oh, Quick little flip. Yep, Josh still cool. Uh, who else cool? Glenn. Big Baby, that's my boy that's too. Man, man, Big Baby acting now. Shout out to Big Baby. Yeah, Big Baby, my boy. Big Baby crazy. That's my dog. You know what I'm saying? I done been out there on Big Baby couch a couple times. Man, every time I think of Big Baby, I think about his ass crying on that bench, man. <laughs> he a real nigga though. He a God real damn. nigga. Tyrus was my partner. Tyrus Thomas. Shannon Tyrus Brown. Brown. Ooh. Um, Tyrus Thomas, he went to LSU too, though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Um, um, he cool. Uh, Mellow. Mello. Um, His son, who been crazy. Who else? Butler. Yeah, UD, D Wade. Yeah. All of my boys. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I don't bug them too much, but like we all follow each other and stuff on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, that shit. 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 You know I mean? Like you, you can tell you real cool and like players, so niggas ain't got down. Yeah, that's all I do. Yeah. The cool. niggas ain't if a nigga see you call him like, oh, let me holler at my boy. A nigga know you ain't calling goddamn big and on some yeah, shit. Yeah, because the nigga ain't, ain't with that. Some yeah. people call big. Quintel Woods, too. Quintel Woods, yeah. it was cold. Yep. Zebo, kind of my partner. Me and Zebo got the squabbling before, but they still Wood. my dog, yo. Yeah. 
Boy, yeah. that probably one of them one. Yeah. Zebo <laughs> used to always put it on in me too, you know, because he was from uh, somewhere up in Indiana. You know what yeah. I mean? He used to yeah. kind of see me move around and try to mm -hmm. give me the game on, but I was so high headed I didn't want to. He got that. behind money bag, yo, didn't he? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. who got him. That's why I say it was his <laughs> yeah. to get him. You know what I mean? Cause yeah. I couldn't do what Zebo did for you. Yeah. And got it. You know what I mean? Right. Period. That what's up, man. Man, nah, we appreciate you coming through, Sean, man. Hey, I ain't gonna say. We wish you, nigga, once you get your coaching job, nigga, we want you back on this motherfucker. Yeah, I'm we'll talk about your goddamn team and what's y'all goddamn prediction for this year. Cause the shit gonna come. Thanks. Cause, bro, you, I can just tell you, like, one thing about it, you know how when you're talking to somebody, yeah, you might not say all the right shit, but that shit from the heart. Yeah, I'm Like, a, you I'm ain't gonna penny. tell a player no, you know what I'm saying? Hey, sit down, just focus. Like, you gonna tell a nigga straight what they need to hear and you wanna see the best out of them. Right. And that's and that positive shit ain't in the lead no more where a nigga like, I want you to do this outside of this. Right. I don't care what you do this game or the next game, what you doing outside of this. Right. Cause like that's what you said with you. You know what I mean? Right. If somebody would have been thinking that on your... Because Larry Bird, he tried to be that. You know what I'm saying? Man, what? You might be the fish it is. Like, sometimes I ain't even show up. You feel me? Damn. Just crazy. You know what I mean? But... We he was a wild nigga, nigga boy. <laughs> he, was trying, he, was, he was trying to turn you into him, nigga. He like, nigga, I would have been the jumper, out nigga. Out there getting bit by mosquito. <laughs> I caught one, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> but no I feel like what I'm going to do now, though... Gonna make them proud, dog. You oh, know, for sure. Hell yeah. You know Cause I wrote a book too. I wrote an ebook. I'm writing four of them. I done finished my first one on form shoot. Uh -huh. They'll be able to pick that joint up on SeanWilliams.com. I'm just finna give Shout it. that out. We, we could drop the link on that too. Yeah, I meant the uh the title up. SeanWilliams.com. Yeah, SeanWilliams.com will put in a, a, a plethora of uh, e-books for like parents. Like, All right, nigga, we stuff. hear that word. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got that from Tip, man. You know, Tip, <laughs> Tip, Tip. <laughs> Tip teaching for, for a lot too. Well, man. that he nigga say it. some shit for no reason, <laughs> right, bro? Right, bro. I'm finna write ebooks just to get parents and man, people, coaches, players, all that man, just something to go off of a formula because I got the sauce. I know the sauce. I've been there. I did it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So I'm finna get the sauce out because coaches need it. Some coaches just be out there just giving players something, thinking they gonna make it. Now that's a way you gotta do it and way you right. gotta make it. Uh -huh. Sure. Sure. Right, shout out. Any more questions before we get out of here? Yeah, my last question. So when you was in the league, now, like, who was some of the the the, the youngins that you saw in the league that you know people might not have thought was gonna be something, but but you know, oh, but you okay. saw like, damn, you know, and now it came full circle to where you know they doing their thing. Man, um, a lot of people that came in the league out of there. Yeah, there's still some left. Kyle Lowry, PJ Tucker, Kyle Lowry. Cal Larry for sure. You know, he was a bad kid, man. When we played him A U in Mississippi, man, we was we played we was a terrible team too, but we was a good team. We won the nationals and everything. Um, but I used to get into it with Cal Larry a lot. Really? For him for him to change how he was, you know, he from Philly, you know yeah. what I'm saying? To be like a grade A professional dog and extend his career like that. Even PJ Tucker, dog. That's why I said the league is made of these guys. Now at the end, all the talented guys who had the tremendous upside, we out of the league. It's all the people who had to go through something early yeah. and end up seeing the importance of it and grinding. They the one extended their careers. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like KD, too, to be, you know what I'm saying, like one of the face of the league. You know what I'm saying? And um, to be mentioned with the greats. Like, he came out of there and nobody saw that coming for him. And I'm going to tell you one thing. I, I hated how they disrespected Russ. Because, bro, when I played, bro, when I tell you, bro, him coming at you 100 miles an hour, bro, it, nobody could guard that, man. Scary. It's scary. You know what I'm saying? They start disrespecting him and, you know, start messing with his mental. It's hard right. to play when your mental off, bro. That's right. like... 50, 60% of the game. That, you know, that bro, probably was their whole tactic. Yeah. To try to throw yeah. that nigga off. Yeah, he went through it, though, but he back to uh -huh. it now. Yeah, wow. Russell's a legend, a scary bro. matchup. Him yeah. and Giannis, that's scary. Giannis panned out something different from mm -hmm. what I thought. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Fact. Being Me a little too. coming in the league and to turn into the freak show, man, ooh-wee. It's a beast. Yeah. When I was at Miami coming down here, let you, I'm just, I'm, I'm damn near out there hollering for help. <laughs> Backside. I'm telling them folks, sink in, sink in. <laughs> Please, this motherfucker boy, man. Be honest. Hey, real quick, I know we was supposed to get you out of here, bro, but you here. Because we had the argument a couple weeks ago. You played with dirt. Giannis or dirt? 
In what scenario though? She game. You need game. you need one nigga. Yeah, straight up game. One, one game. <sighs> one game. And you playing with him. You on the team. You need a one game. Who we playing against? Yeah, that don't matter. <laughs> so it's a championship game. Yeah, it's a championship game. And they both champions. Yeah, they both in their prime. They both they pro prime both player. Prime. Who you got? Coach Williams, what type of player you take? Man, damn. Man, man, it's a hard question. <laughs> man, I want to go with a shooter, bro, in the championship. But Giannis a dog, too, <laughs> man. Man, I got to go with Giannis. Man. I told you, niggas. I told you, niggas. He can a make dog? some three. He going to make a couple of them. He might not make 15, but Dirk, but I feel I like. But I know at the end of the game. That nigga Young is gonna still be fighting with me. And you ain't got to worry about Dirk coming down here on you. Dirk just gonna post up, bro. Uh -huh. I mean, you can push him off the block. You know what I'm saying? He's still a killer. Yeah, he's a killer. Don't he's get me wrong. He's a killer. You know what I mean? But Giannis, I want Giannis on my team, dog. Defense, too. Yeah, defense. He's slapping that bitch. <laughs> hey, doing all of that. Yeah. Man, on that note, Sean, you good with me. You can come anytime, <laughs> man. I appreciate that, it seems like we, we got the same mindset. <laughs>So tricking it, they ask you a question, to do a story down the line. On yeah, they said this and, and that, but and they'll be setting you up. Setting you nah, up for sure. Fuck that. Man, before you get out of here, we got to get you to sign the uh, basketball. Yeah. I got you. Appreciate you for having me now. Hell yeah, oh. man. Oh, yeah, man. Co hey, we Coach Williams. Yeah. We got to get Coach Williams <laughs> sitting on this motherfucker, man. Yeah. While we wait, man, what? You done played for the plenty team. You done played for plenty teams. So what's you? What's the fire you'll run with, including you? Who you gonna pick up? And mm. you ain't got to match up with nobody else. It's just like, hey, ain't nobody stopping this motherfucker. Uh, Kobe. Uh huh. For sure. <laughs> you said the, the teams I done played with. I yeah, yeah, yeah. I do Kobe, Melo. Uh huh. Chauncey Billups. Ooh, big shot. Mm. Mm. Uh, Jermaine O'Neal. Four. Uh, who else? And me, nigga. I yeah, I said, I put me in there. Yeah, that one, two, three, four, and a five. What, what? Oh, no, you know what? I can't put me in there. D-Wade, bro. All right, you off the bench. Oh, I damn, you did play with D-Wade. I had you to bring D-Wade. And if you, if you do got you in the lineup, what, what team and what year? What you mean? Like, you, what, your, was your it? Version you. Yeah, your version of you. My New York year. Okay. New York, Sean Wood. New York, yeah, Sean New York, Sean Wood. Wood. Spring. Yeah. <laughs> I was playing for my life. I was coming out probation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Judge hit me with it. <laughs> you don't make the team, you coming back and doing 11 29. I went up there and played my ass this out. Nigga, this is what Cobra was talking about. You got more. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Hey, man, we appreciate y'all tuning in to Broken Play. Make sure you check out SeanWilliams.com. And shout out to Coach Sean Williams for pulling up on the set, man. Yo, Until yo. next time. That's a set.